Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I hope you all are doing good. So today we are going to try dry gobi manchurian recipe. Yes, you heard it right. So come on, join in. The step one is to prepare the veggies. Chop down all the veggies into very fine bits. Here I have taken one capsicum, two small sized onions, ginger and five to six cloves of garlic. You can use ginger garlic paste also. Two chilies and some coriander for garnishing. Then prepare the cauliflower. Clean the cauliflower and cut it into medium sized florets. The step two is to prepare the batter. In a mixing bowl, take four spoons of all purpose flour, four spoons of rice flour. The quantity for all purpose flour and rice flour should be the same. Then half tablespoon of black pepper powder. Then you can add salt according to your taste. Half tablespoon of Kashmiri Lal Mirch powder. You can take ordinary Lal Mirch also. Add water little by little to make sure there are no lumps left in the batter. And make a thick batter. Not too thick, not too thin. It should coat the cauliflower florets well. As you can see in the video. After checking the consistency of the batter, put one cauliflower floret into the batter and see how it goes. It should look like this as shown in the video. Then one by one add all the cauliflower florets. Mix the batter and cauliflower florets well so that the cauliflower florets will get entirely marinated and covered in the batter. The step 3 is to fry the cauliflower. Dip the cauliflower florets one by one for deep frying in a pan. Put the burner on a medium to low flame so that the cauliflower florets will not burn and can partially cooked from inside. Now the fourth step is to prepare the manchurian sauce. For that take a mixing bowl and two spoons of corn flour and add water little by little so that there are no lumps left. We are using the slurry to thicken our sauce. Now take a separate pan, heat a tablespoon of oil, add ginger, garlic, chilli and saute for a minute. Saute it till they get brown. After the minute or two, add all the veggies, onion and capsicum and cook them partially for 3 to 5 minutes. As you can see, the veggies are partially cooked. Now you can add 2 tablespoons of soya sauce because without soya sauce, the dish will not be completed. And then 2 tablespoons of ketchup. Mix all the sauces and veggies together for a beautiful color. Now add the corn flour slurry we made at the very beginning of our preparation. This slurry will make our sauce thick and will give a beautiful color to the gravy as well. After mixing all the veggies, sauce and the corn flour slurry together, wait till 5 to 13 minutes to cook it. Then add some spices. You can add 1 tablespoon of lal mirch powder and then salt according to your taste. Then cook it for another 5 minutes. After cooking the sauce, you can add your fried cauliflower florets at the very end. Mix the cauliflower florets and the sauce very well so that all the cauliflower florets will get covered completely. Look how beautiful and tempting it is looking. And believe me, try it at your home and you will love it. Garnish it with a very fine chopped coriander at the end and mix it well. So I hope you all like this video. I request you to please try out this recipe at your homes. And do let us know in the comment section below how was your experience making it. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay tuned for more interesting recipes.